Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Alejandra and this is Wands and Wanderlust, where I share what keeps life magical. Today we're unboxing Hermione's Patronus Funko Pop vinyl figure. This is a Wizarding World pre-release exclusive and it is officially sold out. Hermione's Patronus is the second release in this series. The first was Harry's Patronus, which is also sold out. I did an unboxing video of that back in December when it was first released. This series is available exclusively on Wizarding World's online shop, and there are more coming. Ron's is next in the lineup because Golden Trio! So if you want to know how to order these, go ahead and watch my unboxing video of Harry's Patronus because I go over everything that you need to know. The video is in the description box. One of my favorite things about ordering these is that the order to arrival time is super quick. So I ordered it on February 4th, which is the day that it was released, and then it arrived on February 13th, Valentine's Day. I feel like this would make Leslie Nope very proud. Ladies celebrating ladies. And I feel like it arriving on Valentine's Day is just so appropriate because Hermione is one of my favorite female characters of all time and just my favorite Harry Potter character in general. It's packaged in a box that has the exclusive pre-release sticker. And while this pre-release pop is sold out, I do think that they are going to release another batch that doesn't have the sticker. I recently found out that the stickers do make a difference in the way these pops are valued. So one with this exclusive sticker would be of more value than one that doesn't have it. So that would be something to keep in mind if you are collecting these. If you're wanting, I mean wanting, Ron's Patronus as a pre-release, I would order it the day that it's available, which is March 5th, so that it doesn't sell out. On the back of the box, just like Harry's Patronus, this pop has an enchanted key, which is another feature that is exclusive to the pre-release. You scan this enchanted key in the Wizarding World app to unlock exclusive content. I'm excited to see if the content is new or if it has additional content when compared to Harry's Patronus Enchanted Key, and we will cover that later in this video. I will be scanning it and sharing that information with you in the video and just comparing to the other Enchanted Key um, and sharing what that looks like. So let's get started with this unboxing, the big moment. This is my first time opening up this box, and honestly, it's been overcast all day today, so it means Dementors are close. The perfect time to talk about Patronuses. Patroni? Hermione would know the answer to that, but... I don't know the answer to that. J.K. Rowling, help. A little help here. All right. Aha, this one doesn't have the little plastic thing underneath um, because it stands up on its own. Let's test it out. Sure does. And it is super tiny. So I will be showing you a close-up of this and I will put it next to the other pop for size reference. How do you say that? For size? For, for scale, for scale. So here is the close-up for you guys, and I will do a slow turn so that you can see the details on this cute little otter. Oh, Hermione, you have a good Patronus. I dig it. And I like the cohesiveness with the other Patronus of um, these like little waves um, of, I guess, light. That's what I would like to call it, is light, because they very much are a light in the shadows and in the darkness, so that's what we're going to call it. And I am not seeing any imperfections on this one at all, but I'll take a closer look and confirm. So there is a tiny imperfection here, but you do not see that when it's right side up like this, so I am good with that. So here are these two for scale. As you can see, the otter is way smaller than the stag, um, but that's probably because the stag has these like giant antlers. But I will say that this otter pop is one of, <laughs> otter pop, <laughs> that sounds really good right now actually. Um, I will say that this otter Funko pop is one of my smaller pops that I have, except for of course the pocket sized pops, which are like super tiny because they're pocket sized. Um, I will show you some of the other pops that I have that are similar in size to this otter. But first let's look at these details. You can see that there's like all of these little 
whisker-like indentions and fur-like indentions and it would be cool to see one day if they came out with versions that um are what's the word like furry there's a word for it i'll figure it out i want to say the word for it is flocked um i've also heard people talk about a glow-in-the-dark version um these are all just things that we're wishing for not necessarily that wizarding world has talked about themselves so wishful thinking let's wish it into the universe guys so it looks like this otter pop is around the same size as hedwig if you guys have hedwig in your collection a thought that just occurred to me is that owls can be used as messengers which is how mail is sent in the wizarding world um and also, you can use Patronus to send a quick message if you don't have an, uh, the time for an owl. So that kind of just popped into my head. So I thought I would share it. <sighs> Pop. One of the reasons that Hermione is one of my favorite characters is that I just related to her the most. Out of all of the characters, she loved school and learning, and I felt the exact same. She loved books, and she turned to the library when she needed comfort, and that really was something that... I did growing up as well um, and I still love going to libraries and seeing new ones. I recently went to the Boston Library which was amazing. Another reason that I really love Hermione is that even though she had a hard time with the Patronus spell which was very much not in character for her um, and she saw Harry doing such a great job with Patronuses instead of being jealous or taking it out on herself in a very like selfish type of way she encouraged harry to help their fellow classmates be better at defensive defense against the dark arts and she just really pushed him into that leadership position so that he could help people learn how to defend themselves and especially with this patronus spell she knew he was so good at it and was good at defense against the dark arts and she knows when to be a leader and she knows when to be, when to follow and that's one of the reasons why i love hermione so much it's time to scan the enchanted key on the back of the patronus pop so the way that you do that is you go to the wizarding world app and then you click on this globe looking icon and then you tap the key in the top right hand corner scan it and there it goes and it's saying you found a hidden secret, enchanted key unlock, tap for more, which I have seen this screen before, so I'm going to assume that, oh, oh, let's see. Congratulations, you've unlocked some special Patronus surprises. Here's what you can expect, though, inside this special issue, celebrating your new silver guardian, Otter and Stag. I wonder if it's saying that because I have skinned both in here, probably. So... It looks like this is exactly the same article that was in the other enchanted key for Harry Potter's Patronus. Yep. Oh, but there's a room of requirement quiz. That's new. And then a quote about Hermione's. Oh, oh, there is more stuff. Yes. Okay, cool. So let's take this. All right, Hermione, I'm not going to let you down. The room of requirement quiz. Room of Requirement may have what you desire, but unfortunately doesn't hold the answers to this quiz. All right, take the quiz. Who first told Harry about the Room of Requirement when he needed a place for the DA meetings? Dobby. Dobby? Yes! Which floor is the Room of Requirement on? Ooh. Ooh. Second? No, seventh. According to Dobby, what was the Room of Requirement also known as? The come and go room. Yes. Cool. When a DA meeting was interrupted by Umbridge, what was Harry teaching? Oh. No, I almost went with Patronus Charm. Whew. Which teacher took to hiding her sherry bottles in the room of requirement? Ah, oh, Trelawney. Man, I'm failing. What did Harry hide in the room of requirement in his sixth year at Hogwarts? I know this one. 
Dang, gotta pay attention to the details. Which Horcrux was hidden in the room of requirement? Okay, I know this one. It was the diadem. Oh no, I got five out of seven? Four correct. You're not a qui quite a quizzard yet, but we reckon with a bit of training up, you'll be a thumping good un. Oh man. Hey, but Gryffindors overall are on the leaderboard as lead. All right. I'm down with that. That one was harder than the other one that we took um, with the uh, Harry Potter's Patronus, which, I mean, props, because it's Hermione's. Uh, all right. All right. I do need to reread the books again. So, okay. So the new quote in here is Hermione's Patronus, a shining silver otter, was gamboling around her. I think that's how you say that. They are sort of nice, aren't they? She said, looking at it fondly. Did you know otters and weasels belong to the same mammal family? Coincidence that Hermione ends up marrying into the Weasley family and her Patronus is an otter? Hmm. No, nothing that J.K. Rowling does is a coincidence. At least during the time that she was writing these books, I will say that. Love and Patronuses. How does love impact a Patronus? Okay, so this is new. So this is available on the Wizarding World website, and I will link that in the description because this article in particular isn't exclusive. I saw it online earlier today. So this is from Harry's Patronus, and then, okay, so here are the differences. Let's go over it real quick. So... Now it's telling me at the beginning that I've unlocked Patronus surprises. So in my account or in my wizarding passport, I have unlocked the otter and the stag. So this what is a Patronus um, article is an exclusive. I did not see this on the Wizarding World website. But if you do want to read this what is a Patronus, I have pictures of it on my Instagram stories so that you can read that and enjoy that. I really liked that article. That's what I'm just gonna call them, our articles. And this quiz was new, which ugh, you saw me kind of bomb it earlier, so that wasn't fun for me, but it's fine. And I'm just like perfectionist like Hermione. Like I was always really good at school and it's always hard for me to be wrong, like in terms of like, like tests and it just shows me I have to reread the books again. Challenge accepted. This quote was new for Hermione. This did you know was new. This article was also new, but this is available on Wizarding World. And then this was in Harry's Patronus and the Prongs Patronus quiz was also in Harry's Patronus. So there is new stuff, yay. That's super awesome. I dig it. Although I will say that Harry's Patronus had more exclusive stuff because this what is a Patronus like <laughs> article for lack of a better word um, that I didn't see on the Wizarding World website while this one I just saw earlier today. Cool. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and learned something new. Um, I hope I also answered all of your questions. If you have any other questions about this pop or just anything Harry Potter in general that you want to ask me, holla at your girl. Um, you could reach me on Instagram at Wands and Wanderlust. And the reason I am sending you there in this video in particular is because my other Harry Potter Patronus video got categorized as YouTube kids, which means that the comments are turned off. And I think it's just the subject matter that appeals to kids. So it kind of automatically gets labeled as that. And I have a feeling this one will too. So the comments are probably turned off. So if you want to talk to me and it's just me because I'm the only one that checks my social media um, at Wands and Wonderlust on Instagram or on Facebook, but Instagram I check more often because I just like that platform a lot. Um, and if you want to comment on one of my other YouTube videos, go check it out. I have other stuff that I talk about um, that's not just this series. So um, yeah, I invite you guys to check all that out. And um, also another great thing that I would love for you guys to do is drop me some comments of any pieces of advice or thoughts that you guys have to share about collecting. Um, Cause I would love to learn from you guys as well. Um, I'm just getting started with like building my collection. Um, I mean, I've been building on it for a really long time, 
but very slowly and like now I feel like my pace is picking up so it's really fun to learn all of this stuff. I'm also going to be placing some links in the description that are helpful Wizarding World articles and like FAQ about the Funko Pops and stuff about this Funko Pop and anything that I kind of referenced in the video. Those are in the description and I'm gonna roll on out now. See you guys next time.